name is Carolina, and today I'll show you how easy it is to make a memo account. The first thing you'll need to do is go to the Memo Mio homepage. Then go over to the Customize Calendars tab, where you'll be able to see which types of calendars you can get. There's poster calendars, there's wall calendars, desk calendars, or you can be all of them. But let's look at desk calendars for now. Once you've clicked on desk calendars, you'll get to the templates page, where you can look at the different templates you can use for all of your calendars. Scroll down to look at more of them. Underneath the image of the calendar, you'll see the size and price of it. On the left, you can select more calendars to look at more of the time. If you decide you like the cover calendar and you want to look at the inside, click on it. This will lead you to a preview of the calendar. On the right, there will be information about it, and above, a brief description. On the left-hand side, you can browse through the different pages of this calendar. Once you've decided you want this calendar, click Get Started. Now your editor will load and you can start editing your calendar. Below your calendar, like on the preview, you can click on different pages to view them. Let's add some photos. You can click on the one you want, and then drag it over to the box you'd like it to go in. If you decide that you like it there, you can move the other photos to other boxes as well. If you decide that you want to change the background of the page, click on Elements, and then Background. Choose a background that you would like, and just go ahead and click on it. If you would like to change the background, just click on another. Now, if you want to add a clip art to your calendar, just click on one you'd like and drag it over to where you want it to go. You can move the clip art around as much as you'd like and you can change its size too. Another thing you can do is change its transparency. You can even rotate your clip art. Other things that you can edit are word arts, overlays, and frames. If you'd like to take a look at what your calendar would look like if it were printed, go ahead and click on Preview. Here, you can take a look at all of the pages of your calendar to see what they would look like if they were printed. If you'd like to add some text to your calendar, click on Add Text. You can move your text around, you can change its font, size, and color. Type in what you would like to type. When you want to save your project, click on Save Project. You'll need to give your project a name. Then, if you'd like, you can add an author comment. After, add a tag. Once you're done, save your project. If you're not logged in yet, you may want to log in now so you can save your project. If you think that you're done with your project, order now. This will lead you to the shopping cart where you can change the quantity of your items. Check out your order. If you have a coupon code, type it in here. Also, here, you need to choose your shipping and billing address and proceed to the online payment. Thank you for watching.